Well, folks, silly season is closing in on us once again. Lawn signs will litter our neighborhoods. We'll hear that knock at the door just when the show we're watching is getting good. Our mailboxes will be jammed with political propaganda. We'll be stopped at the grocery store or at the market. Yes, once again, it's time to select a government. But this time, it's our local municipal government. As voter turnout demonstrates, local government doesn't seem to matter much to most people. Less than 30% of you turn out at the polls. For the one level of government that impacts your daily lives more than any other level of government. And frankly, the one level of government we get the best bang for our money from. Which probably surprises you hearing that coming from a guy like me who's always harping on taxes. But if we look at what we get daily from every level of government, local taxes are far and away the best value. Generally less than 5% of a household or business income is the property tax bill. What percentage again is provincial and federal tax at? I think just a wee bit more than that. Yet that isn't at all to suggest that we shouldn't keep banging on the heads of local politicians to ensure that they find efficiencies and keep taxes low. I've always said, a fine is a tax for doing something wrong. A tax is a fine for doing something good. So it certainly shouldn't feel like a penalty. Folks, we're now ne neck deep in the age of technology, at least for most of us, and I'm quite happy that Cambridge has adopted online and telephone voting. Frankly, it's about time. The internet is over 25 years old. This is the 21st century. And if you're scared about voter fraud, well, I say, get over it. Since the beginning of time, someone has tried to slip more than their fair share of voting, whether it be ballots, straws, or even a show of hands. Doesn't matter how the count is done, the conspiracy theorists will always suggest something isn't right. I actually spoke to the clerk about this back when I was on council over 14 years ago. I see there's no reason in 2014 that I can't vote in my pajamas. If you want to believe that voter fraud is rampant in municipal politics, well, I can't help you with that either, other than to say it's not. Optimism should prevail, and if you don't think Cambridge Council has done one damn thing right in the last four years, I'm going to tell you that most people feel going to internet voting was the right thing. For those of you who are a part of the 70% majority and don't seem to care by choosing not to vote, I just ask you do me one favor. Get into your jammies and cast a vote. Even if it's wrong, and by that I mean voting opposite of me, please vote. Give it a try. The chamber is going to be posting one-on-one -on -one interviews with every candidate, so we will give you the field. We'll keep you informed and hopefully you'll get hooked on voting. And candidates, enjoy meeting people. Take it from someone who knows. This is a great experience for everyone. And I'll be connecting with you in the coming weeks. We'll be doing our one-on-one -on -one videos with each of you. We ask the questions, you give the answers, you probably won't like the questions and I can guarantee you some of you, we won't like the answers. But that's politics. Enjoy the silly season folks. I'm Greg DeRocher, not a candidate, but very, very interested.